Welcome to DWB Ayadda channel. Please subscribe for latest training videos. Hello and welcome to this lesson. We're going to learn about drill downs and how they work in Spotify. So before we get to it, we need to access what we're going to learn in this lesson. And basically, that is what are drill downs, what are its use cases, and the business perspective. So what are drill downs? When you question your data, that is basically drilling down into your data. And the use cases include basically what most data analysts do. For example, today we're going to be working with hospital admissions by the age and gender. So we're going to be questioning how many people go to a certain community hospital and of what age and gender they are. So the business perspective of this is to get to know which age group or which gender group is basically the most important uh, and in terms of health aspects as well and hospital admissions. So let's get right to it. We're going to go to our typical spot fire. Over here we have our data ready as you can see the rate, the year, age, facility type and gender. So what I want to do right now is create a bar chart. So let's get right to it. I go here, I go to the bar chart. As a default, the typical spot fire has chosen to make this bar chart for facility type by row count. However, I do not need this. So I'll go to the row count and change it to rate. So as you can see, the rate by each community hospital has changed. So like we have community hospitals over here, we have acute hospitals and we have psychiatric hospitals. You can see the acute hospitals has the most traffic. So when you're drilling down into data and trip the spot fire, one thing that is really important to you is creating detailed visualizations. So when you click, right click on your mouse, you have the option of creating detailed visualizations. Right now, what I want to do is work on the tree map. And in tree map, what I want to do is work on age groups. So here I'm going to go and click on tree map. So what it has done, as you can see, when you click on a certain data, it has done rate by facility type, which I do not need. I need rate by age. So now I have it. I have my rate by age. So if I select the acute, 65 and over, and this is the like ratio and over here i have the 65 and over and here is the ratio in community hospitals and in psychiatric hospital over here as you can see we have this rate however what i want to do right now is to create a detailed visualizations over here and maybe drill down more into the age and go towards gender so what I'm going to do is select a pie chart. Maybe I want the pie chart to be next to the tree map graph. And as you can see, we have everything over here. So nothing selected right now. What I want to do right now is maybe select the facility type of acute. And over here, what I want to see is between the ages of 0 to 14 year olds, basically the school going, the high schoolers, uh, and any child before high school, what is their admission rate per age? So I go into that and this shows me the sum rate per age. But I do not need per age because I already have a rate per age over here. So what I'll do is go to the age and change it to gender. Now, as you can see, in this years, 0 to 14, there is a majority of male gender going in admission rates in acute hospitals. What about the hospital type of community hospital? And as you can see, the rate of 0 to 14 year olds is very less and the gender is mostly male. So what we can tell is community hospitals contain the age of 0 to 14 uh, year olds, but the main majority of 0 to 14 year olds is male. 
even though the zero, the magnitude of 0 to 14 year olds is less, the majority of gender that uh, goes in this age is male. In 65 year olds and over, however, the females are more dominant in community hospitals. So this is how you test your data and work around it. Maybe something that I want to do is uh, work around in the trellis of my data and uh, maybe color it by facility type. So right now, as you can see, coloring it by facility type is not really the right thing to do. And you can, of course, go back to age or gender. Of course, we need to change gender for the sum rate for gender. And you can limit all these views. And right now, you have uh, a pretty good analysis on your hospital admissions. So, in conclusion, why are data drilldowns important in both use cases and business perspective? It's for questioning your data, basically. And as an example that you've seen today, you can actually analyze the amount of admissions in your hospital and what they're based on. Is it the facility type? Is it the age? Is it the gender? And which factors are more dominant? So I hope you've understood how drilling down into data works. And I hope to see you in the next lesson as well.